Welcome! Here's a few watercolor landscapes I worked on the other day, and I wanted to share these with you because there were some good things and some not so good things that happened. These first three I used a few references for parts of the landscapes. The green bit of land in the first, or the top one, the colors of the sky in the second, or middle one, and the colors of the water in the third, or the bottom one. All other choices in these paintings are from my imagination. For the next four paintings, I wanted to do something different with some different landscape views. The first one was some non-typical color choices for the sky and the land. The second was an ant's eye view looking at the sky through a canopy of trees. The third, a very simple forest. And the final one, a sunrise sunset that I was going to ink some trees onto after. Now here's where things get dicey. For the middle pieces, for example, if you do more than one painting per paper, try to pull the tape as straight as possible, but pay attention to if the paper starts to tear into your artwork. If this happens, slowly pull at a 45 degree angle away from the edge of tape that is tearing and alternate pulling the tape from each side. You can also use a hairdryer to warm up and loosen the adhesive on the tape prior to removing it. When you remove the tape from the edges, you should always peel away from your painting to prevent any tears into your artwork. Try to keep the tape at a 45 degree angle. For these three paintings, it was very successful and I had very little if no tearing or removal of the paper from the tape. Normally, I prefer to use the green painter's tape that you can see along the edges of this painting, but for these landscapes, I used a washi tape to create a thinner division between the paintings. Now, as you'll see with this next one, I didn't test my tape prior to using it, and I didn't remember to heat it before I started to pull and take a look at the results. This isn't the first time, and I'm sure it won't be the last time that this happens. Thank you so much for your time. Please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time.